Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free Hi guys and welcome back to my channel In today's video I am so excited to finally be showing you my backyard transformation I have been working on this for months, you guys. I started in, I think, April, and it has taken until pretty much now to be complete. There is still a couple of areas that are not 100%, but I just wanted to finally get this up for you before the summer was over because I wanted to give you some inspiration in case you guys are trying to do a backyard transformation as well. I didn't want to wait until like fall to show this to you. So we do have a couple of areas that are still not quite 100% finished, but it is looking completely different. I am so happy with the transformation. As you guys can see here, there was just like a lot of junk everywhere. Last year I had planned on doing these um, flower boxes on the side, which you can kind of see a little bit of wood spread out. And, but we just decided to go ahead and do bricks this time. So we're cleaned all that up. Like it just looks completely different. You guys will see near the end of the video, it is crazy. And I will say that I did a lot of this work myself. And for those of you that may know I am pregnant, don't worry, a lot of like heavy lifting and stuff like that. I checked with my doctor and everything <laughs> was fine. I was able to do all this stuff that I've been doing because I know probably a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, you shouldn't have been doing that, you're pregnant. Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> my doctor says it's fine. So I also am gonna show you guys in a minute here. Um, last year we redid our deck. So I will be inserting a picture here in a couple of seconds of what our deck looked like before. Um, so this deck is new from last year. And that was really the only thing that we have done to the backyard at all <laughs> since moving in. So, which is a huge difference. Like you guys are gonna see here right now, that was what our deck looked like before. So it is a big difference, but we didn't stain it or anything last year. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get right on into this transformation and I'm gonna show you guys how I changed my entire backyard. So what I'm starting to do, because of course you have to get done all of the boring stuff before you can get to the fun stuff. This was early spring, so I had a lot of raking to do. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show you <laughs> the entire footage of me raking the whole yard. <laughs> but I wanted to move all of these boards. Like I said, last year I had kind of set these boards out because I was going to make some flower boxes just out of um, these old deck boards. And like I found these cool little things that you stake into the ground that holds up the board and makes it like a little flower box. But we decided just to go ahead and do bricks. That way we could just get it done and not have to worry about it again. Because with wood, of course, every few years you have to replace it or stain it or whatever. So we decided to go with bricks this year. But. I'm just raking everything up so that I can just get everything nice and then I can actually start doing the actual transformation. Hey you guys, so as you can see here, I'm making some changes. I decided to dismantle this huge garden box and we're gonna make three smaller ones, same as that going across the back. So I've just been taking everything off of this <laughs> and it's so funny the dirt is just staying there with nothing to hold it. Um, and I've been constructing this. So of course, as I was doing it the other day, I realized I completely forgot to film it. So I'm gonna film the rest here. But yeah, we're gonna make three smaller ones going across the back. This tree is gonna to move to the front yard. And that's what we're doing. I went by your house, what a big mistake. Just 
look at how sweet Holden is. Like he is just such a little helper. I just love him so much and he just wants to help me with absolutely everything. And it is the sweetest thing. He's like, what, he's handing me screws. He's wanting to help me use the screwdriver. <laughs> he's just so sweet. And I was so happy to have his help. you guys so I'm done building the second one and I started building the third but I need the rest of the wood like from in the middle here these two posts so I need to get some of this dirt into these boxes so that I can free up those posts so what I did was I just spaced everything out the way that I wanted it um, and I'm going to pour some weed killer into the grass part because I don't want grass growing up and then I'm gonna start moving over the dirt into these two that are complete, and then hopefully that'll free up those posts. <laughs> so that is my plan.
So we will come back to those garden boxes afterwards and show you what the after looks like. Um, but I did want to show a little bit of footage of me building these flower beds up. So it was quite a process. At first when I laid them all down, I realized they were all on an angle. And I'm sorry, you'll have to just kind of, um, <laughs> just kind of ignore the fact that the camera keeps kind of like waving around. It was very, very windy. It has been a very windy spring for us. So a lot of times when I was trying to film everything, like the camera was just shaking everywhere. Same thing with hearing me talk. A lot of times when I'm outside and I'm actually trying to explain to you guys what's going on, it's really hard to hear me because the wind was so strong. But it took a while to figure out how to lay all these bricks and finally get them all even. <laughs> but we did it and I'm so happy with the result. That's love, that's just love. You should know some things will hurt. Okay, so now we're moving to the deck. So what I had to start out with, I wanted to stain the deck. Um, so I had to start out by power washing everything. And I have got to say, if you have not ever power washed your deck before, you really should do it <laughs> at the start of spring. It was amazing how much snow mold and just like gross stuff was on this deck. It was crazy. After one year, we built it last spring. We didn't stain it and then like we went through the whole winter and everything and it was so gross. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys a little bit of up close footage here in a minute of me actually spraying. I tried to get like some really satisfying clips <laughs> but it was so hard for me to hold my camera and hold the sprayer at the same time. So I'm afraid the satisfying clips didn't really turn out as well as I wanted them to. But you can see like how much gross stuff was actually on the deck and how it just washes away. So it definitely will give your deck new life if you can power wash it. Um, and of course, I definitely recommend staining it now. The difference between a stained deck and an unstained deck is crazy. It looks like night and day. So I'm really, once again, I'm really happy with how it turned out.
of my power washing done it is time to stain the deck and I wanted to do like we have a picture frame deck so I wanted to do different colors on the inside and then the outside frames around are going to be a little bit darker so I wanted to show you guys a little bit of footage of me staining and I will definitely say this is my first time that I have ever stained and this was such a pain in the butt like it wasn't too bad doing the actual um, deck like this part itself but doing the railings around oh my goodness that was horrible like there's so many like little intricate areas that you have to get in and it's dripping everywhere <laughs> I said to my boyfriend I'm never doing this again we can hire somebody to do this going forward because this is such a pain in the butt and I hated it <laughs> It also, I mean, maybe it had to do with the fact that I was pregnant. I just didn't like want to be <laughs> down on the ground doing this. It was just annoying. Um, so maybe I would try it again one more time. But yeah, it's this is definitely a project, especially a deck of this size. We have a fairly large deck. So it definitely took some time. This is the next day after I finished staining everything you can see the different colors of the wood and I'm so happy with how it turned out and you guys are probably wondering why I am vacuuming my deck. <laughs> Our neighbors have that huge, huge tree that hangs over into our yard and it always, anytime there's even a slight breeze, it just like sets out these little, I don't even know what they're called, these little tiny leaves. So our deck was full of them. So I needed to um, go ahead and vacuum it before I could place all the furniture. So we got out all the furniture out of our garage, which we had all this stuff before. Um, and I wanted to power wash everything down because from the year before there was like spider webs and a lot of stuff And I mean it had just spent the entire winter in the garage So it was just gross dirty from the summer before and I wanted to power wash everything down before we started to place everything And the next part where we're actually placing everything is so much fun because I love decorating I'm an interior designer by trade so I love doing all that stuff and it was just so much fun to kind of like play around with everything and see where I wanted everything and once again I know I keep saying this after every little segment but I'm so so happy with the way that it turned out you guys are gonna love it I think
what is some sort of like tip or trick I can give for decorating. And I know that I've said this before, but basically don't be afraid to change things around. Just try something out in a spot, see if it looks good. If it doesn't look good, you can move it. It's not that big a deal. Like I think so many people think once I said something here, it's here forever. It does not have to be that way. You can move things around. I continually change things around all the time. And it's just nice to kind of like freshen up your space. Even if you have the same items, just moving them around can help a lot. It's all blurry now Feeling low Hard to breathe But this I know I won't leave Waking up Okay, you guys, so it is weeks and weeks later and our backyard is finally done. I mean, of course, there's still stuff that we want to do, but it's done enough to where I want to show you guys what it looks like. I wanted to film this little outro outside, but it is really windy. <laughs> It is so windy and like we're gonna be getting a, uh, a snowstorm. I was gonna say not a snowstorm, thank goodness. We're gonna be getting a thunderstorm here right away. So I wanted to quickly film this, show you guys the after and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, so when we first walk out, we see my barbecue and our dining set here. And look at how beautiful this stain turned out. I'm so happy with it. I've got my herbs growing there. We've got a little um, storage box here for the cushions. And then we have our little conversation set with more storage area there for the cushions. I'm just so happy with how it turned out. We've got our hot tub back there, a little fountain. And then as you guys can see, all of the brickwork that I did. This is just kind of the overview of the back. So in going around, we have our apple tree that is starting to bloom. So we're gonna get little apples. They get fairly big too. Pear tree and then over here have our little flower bed that was never there before the mulch we were able to get this trampoline for free actually it was at my parents house and they just gave it to us so that was awesome and then this is set here behind the trampoline And then coming back behind it, my garden, some stuff is growing, some stuff is not. That box in the back is definitely having the most luck. But we're starting to get some tomatoes growing. Seeing a few there. My lettuce is crazy over there. 
And then over here, I need to get some, uh, we have some more rock coming, and I need to get some weed killer from over here, of course. It's just weeds going up, but this is kind of like Holden's little toy storage area. And then facing our deck again. I'm so happy with how this all turned out, you guys. Now, the only thing that is not quite finished is over here. I started doing all my bricks there. Um, we need to get rid of all of these bricks. We're gonna sell this on buy and sell, and then next year we're going to plant some more raspberry bushes. So over here we have raspberry bushes. We're gonna plant some more here, and then all the way along here is going to be blueberry bushes, blackberry bushes, and strawberry bushes. So that'll all be next year. <laughs> Just gotta finish laying my bricks. Street on clouds instead of the concrete, I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at blues. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. what it's like to be broke i know what it's like when nothing goes your way so i'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day yeah i am on my way up i won't slow down yeah i am on my way up i won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up. And I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. <laughs> yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope that you enjoyed my backyard transformation. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more videos like this, kind of like transforming areas in my home, because I absolutely love doing that stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I will see you in my next video. Bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know